Well, good afternoon and welcome to KwaZulu Natal. We find ourselves in Guamashu at the Princess Magogo Stadium as Lamontville Golden Arrows return to their home venue to take on Free State Stars in this critical APSA Premiership tie as we near the end of the 2018-2019 APSA Premiership campaign. This is better from Free State Stars, trying to put a little pressure. Long range effort here and a beauty set up, maybe just wide in the end. But a beautiful setup. Mugwane with the effort. It looked well on target. Hit it brilliantly. Onto the chest down by Mutizwa. Matenjwa into the area. Mutizwa can turn it from here. Tries to go around the keeper. Penalty, it'll be. Immediate call from the referee. Knox Mutizwa with a telling run. And Bambo has uprooted his opponent straight to the penalty mark. Ran the referee, Tandon Zanzeka, and his assistant. On the far side, Sunday Lidi Ligani with no argument ran to the corner flag immediately. So, Mutizwa up to the penalty mark he comes, 12 yards out, staring down Mbambo, having won the penalty, converts the penalty and has his seventh goal of the season. Does Knox Mutizwa in the Absa Premiership and that's 10 overall for Mutizwa. Double figures this campaign, having already scored three goals for this Golden Arrows side in the Nedbank Cup where he remains the joint leading goal scorer. Mutizwa goes good! He's got a brace in brilliant fashion. Mutizwa on the stroke of 25 minutes bags his brace with a banging effort to the top corner. Golden Arrows going good is Knox Mutizwa. And being rightly swamped by his teammates. A confident Mutizwa stepped up. What a superb free kick. Up and over the wall, nothing much that the goalkeeper could do. Golden Arrows 2, Free State Star 0, or should I say Mortizua 2, Free State Star 0. Slubi over there, Slubi! Celebrates one back for Free State Stars and we are seeing a match punctuated by superb set pieces. Knox Mutizwa has scored his brace from set pieces, a penalty and a free kick. And Sibusi Sotlubi with his third goal of the season. The new father banging one in from a long way out. Power and precision aplenty. Oh, taken short. Juppie's got in for the run inside the area. Juppie! At the near post, fine save from Baeba, turning it around the corner. Parried away and caught it to Free State Stars. Doing well to evade the defender, but uh, with his weaker foot, it was on target and at least he made the goalkeeper make a save. A great reaction from Free State Stars. So that the end of an opening half that has seen three goals scored. Jappy, oh, Rogers, how do you get on the end of that and misdirect the effort? Matiane was sliding, hoping to get a touch on that to deflect it away from goal. And Rogers maybe expecting Matiane to make contact. No problem about offside there. Now, attack here with Tizwa searching. Oh, just wide. Agonizingly wide for Golden Arrows. The muscle. Great chance here for a finish, Shanover. Savelo guilty. His chance to score his first for a Golden Arrows. has gone a begging here. Toward the back post. Trying to play the cute ball into any of his teammates who are waiting. Mobir with a chance, scrambles it wide. Well, you can't say the chances don't keep coming. They just can't be converted in the 90th minute. Jumpy. Level it to come potentially. Rogers. Saved by Mbaeva. The follow-up is deflected wide. Was that a double save from Mbaeva? It's still a corner to Free State Stars. Rogers, Mobir, all being denied. 
Free State Stars late on, plenty of goal mouth action, but they just can't score. Free State Stars felled by their former coach, Compella, but it has not been all Golden Arrows this afternoon. But that sees Free State Stars stay where they are in terms of points in the Absa Premiership, and it's not what they wanted. 26 points, while the Montbourg Golden Arrows take a step closer towards a top eight finish. It's ended 2-1 here at the Princess Magogo Stadium. Yeah, I thought three beautiful goals from set plays, a penalty, Mutizo free kick, and also uh, from 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 U U I thought I thought you could see Prince Sars fighting, trying to say they need to move out of the, they need to secure their position, and as well with us, our ambitions are that can we can we find a way, fight our way through and get into the top eight, and we are we are we are grateful with the result and. I don't think Free State Stars would be relegated, never. This team has got a good work ethic. And personally, personally, I would, I would, I would say, let them keep going. Keep your head up. It's not the end of the day. It could have gone either way. It's only that we got two early set pieces. And as well themselves, Rogers and them, whether it's Oshubi, Japi, Paulos, everybody, let's keep soldiering on. Listen, football is a funny game. Just need to maybe one match to win and then they are settled. Then go back, start again and do the right things. The first half gave us three goals. But where did this game go in the second half? I think we realized that when you want to engage in a more physical part of your game, we are not the best. We are more a technical team and sometimes a more structured team tactically. So use the tools that are relevant to you in football. There's five tools you keep apart from the mental part, the technical part, the physical part, the technical part. Now we needed to use the one that we are good at. You can't go compete with Free State. I mean, Paulus is a monster. Yeah, Roy, Roy Mahamouds, and they've got very good, good players with lots of experience. Abo Matendra, Abo Spa, these are all kids who come from e -E -E MDC. And also looking at, you had Abo, a lot of suspensions we had. We didn't have Ulunga. You, you can imagine that he's a big player who got suspended as well. But I thought the ones we played, Umatloha, you could see legs could not, were not giving anymore. He had to be substituted. But we're delighted. But our job is to use what we're good at, which is playing, and also a good structure tactically. On the seventh, up next, Sundowns? Yeah, sundowns, again, listen, they don't need to be mentioned. We just have to look at ourselves, try to improve ourselves. When you're coming across an opponent who's good enough, who you think can also be better at some instances, you just look at yourself and take that as an opportunity for growth. Thank you so much, Steve. Thank you. Well, they opened the game uh, on on best possible way. Uh, they were waiting. They were waiting our mistakes in in zones where their offensive transition is the most dangerous. Uh, we gave them such such an opportunities, and uh, they are they are great offensive transition through through short passes, which is trademark for Steve. Uh, uh, gave them two opportunities to score from set pieces. Uh, if we are speaking about ball possession after second goal that we concede, uh, there was only one team on the field. Uh, but that is only if we are speaking about ball possession. Uh, uh, they had 2-0 lead. Uh, they made uh, they made perfect absolutely perfect defensive structure, defensive organization. We didn't uh, succeed uh, until the end of the game. We didn't succeed to find uh, some gaps. Uh, okay, we created three, three, two or three good chances in the last 15 minutes, but it was too late. It is desperate if you are waiting for the last 15 minutes. Uh, you will not hear from me that uh, there is six more points on the table because uh, I would be I would be uh, funny to myself when I watch into the mirror uh, to threaten to Chiefs and Sundowns. So uh, best we can do now is to hope to avoid direct relegation and uh, to get into the playoffs. Uh, immediately tomorrow I will arrange DVDs and uh, I will send scouts in all cities where uh, potential playoffs rivals are playing and in those remaining two games 
Uh, as I said, we just can hope uh, since that Maritzburg is playing excellent football, since Serik came, uh, he took some time to clear the mess which is made before him. And uh, uh, since Serik came, uh, they are playing really, really great football. And uh, <laughs> we just can hope that we will avoid direct relegation. I am, I am a realistic man and that is our realistic picture. Appreciate your time, coach. Good luck going forward. Thank you so much. Always welcome.